Hello everybody, it is your teacher, Mr. Chingman here. We are going to look at the early explorers of the New World, hence the name right on the, the uh, screen here. So without any further ado, what we're going to do is, I gave you some notes today in class to complete. It is your job to fill those in. I've tried to make it as easy as possible. Remember, we just talked about Native Americans, the different tribes, Catawba, Yemisi, Cherokee, and now we're going to talk about three different countries that came in, um, you know, many years after and tried to colonize both what we now know as the U.S. and then South Carolina. So, we're going to look at three different countries. Spain, which is here in the green. That's mainly South and Central America, where they were, along with Florida. Uh, the Portuguese, we won't talk about too much, but we should know they're in South America here. They're the brownish, tannish color here. The French, they settled basically the Midwest of the U.S., up into Canada. Um, that's why they still speak French today up in Eastern Canada. And then finally, in the red, as you can see up here, parts of Canada and all along the east coast of the U.S. is the British. Uh, they're going to explore at last, but they will be the first country, European country, to be successful. Alright, so let's get to the notes here. The Spanish. I don't know if you can see my title. Yeah. Oops. Sorry. Alright, the Spanish. Also known as Conquistadors. What did they come to the New World for? They wanted to find gold, but there was not much to be had, so what they did instead is they set up plantations. Another word for that is encomiendas, and they enslaved the Native Americans. So, uh, that's where we first start to see slavery here by the French. Whenever you hear slavery, I want you to automatically think Spanish. Second question, where did they explore? As we said earlier, South America, Central America, and North America. So they, uh, they tried to settle in Florida and South Carolina. How did they treat the Native Americans? Very poorly. Remember, they enslaved them on their plantations and they passed diseases to them, killing many of them. So that's the Spanish. Remember, they did not treat the Native well. They were looking for gold, um, but they set up plantations instead because they couldn't find it that much. So that should be the first column at the top. Where it says exploration of the new world on your notes. Next, we're going to move to the French. Why did they come to the new world? What were they looking for? They were searching for the Northwest Passage and they ended up finding the new world. What the Northwest Passage is, is they were looking for our way from Europe to Asia. Um, and they ran into our big continent along the way. Where did they explore? They explored in Canada and in the central United States. So we're talking states today like Minnesota, Ohio, uh, Michigan, Indiana, states like that. Along with uh, Louisiana. So they were, they were set up all along the Mississippi River. How did they treat the Native Americans? They treated them well, for the most part. Um, they spread religion to them, Christianity. And they traded fur with them, so they were had a pretty good trade relationship. So French, think good relations with the natives, and make sure you know that they were all along the Mississippi River. All right, the third one, British, the English. This would be your last column at the top. This is the third and final European nation that came over. Um, towards this time period. So why did they come to North America? They came for religious freedom, so they didn't believe it's what the king said, and to grow cash crops like tobacco. People were also looking for gold. So many different reasons why they came over here. Where did they explore? They explored along the east coast of North America, where states like Virginia and New Jersey are now. So pretty soon, once they get a permanent uh, settlement set up, they're going to have the 13 colonies as we know, and we'll be talking about that next year. 
how did they treat the Native Americans at first? They needed their help to be, you know, to get accustomed to the new surroundings. Once they did that and they got basically uh, comfortable, they began to mistreat the natives and they took advantage of them. So at first good, towards the end, not so good. Alright, we're going to transition to the bottom of your notes here where it says exploration of South Carolina. So now we're just looking specifically at the state of South Carolina. There's a few failures from European countries in South Carolina. So South Carolina was attempted to be colonized many times before anybody was successful. They were unsuccessful for a variety of reasons, including Spain's first attempt. So Spain tried first off. The name of the leader was called Lucas Vasquez de Ayon. Ayon? Yeah, it's, that's the best I got. Where in South Carolina did they attempt to settle? They attempted to settle in Georgetown, which is just north of Mount Pleasant. What did they name the settlement? They named it San Miguel de Guadalupe. And what problems did the settlers face? Their supply ship wrecked on its way over to resupply them. And many men contracted malaria, which killed them. Malaria is uh, carried by mosquitoes, which there is quite a bit of in the low country of South Carolina. So, their, su their supply ship wrecked, and many men contracted diseases. That was their first attempt. Next up, the French tribe. The name of their leader was Jean Rebeau. Where in South Carolina did they try to attempt to settle? They tried down by Paris Island, which is now known as Hilton Head. What did they name their settlement? They named it Charles Fort. And what problems did they face? Well, they didn't think it out for the long haul. They didn't plant any crops. And they were banking on their supply ship coming back once it left. But it just never, um, it never showed up. So they were left there pretty much to starve. And one interesting story about the French is they actually tried to build a boat to sail back to France. But remember, they didn't have any food. So on their journey back, um, some of the men actually started to eat each other like cannibals because they were so hungry. So I don't know how they picked who was getting eaten, but that's not a boat I would have wanted to get on. I don't know about you. Alright, enough about the French. The Spanish tried one more time. They said, hey, they're persistent people. They're giving it another shot. So the, name, the leader this time was Fernando de Soto. Where in South Carolina did they try? They tried down by Hilton Head as well, where the French were. Would they name their settlement Santa Elena? And what problems did they face? They got attacked by Native Americans, and they fled to Florida. So, if you mistreat the Native Americans, they're probably going to get fed up with it. So they rebelled and they attacked the Spanish, pushing them south to Florida. That's all that should be on your notes. At the bottom, I want you to write this stuff. Put the very bottom of your notes. In 1670, the English finally are successful at creating the first permanent settlement in South Carolina. What did they name this settlement? They named it Charlestown, which is what we know today as Charleston. So make sure you make a note at the bottom of your notes, 1670, the first permanent settlement in South Carolina is Charlestown. That's going to do it for this session of notes. Make sure you get both columns completed. If you need to go back, rewind, take your time. Tomorrow in class, we'll fill out the map. Uh, together. Have a good night.